Here's a glass garden totem that I just made out of upcycled glass that I got from Goodwill and other thrift stores. And I'm going to show you how I made this. Today I'm going to make a garden totem using upcycled glass that I've got from thrift stores. It's going to be probably about five or six feet tall and it's just going to be something decorative that I can put in the garden. And this is all the glass that I'm going to use. And I'm going to try this um, glue. I usually use E6000 to glue everything together, but I saw that there was a Gorilla Glue it says use like E6000, so I was going to try that and see how that works. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue something to this cake plate, which I'm going to use for the base. I'm going to put it upside down, and uh, it's nice and heavy, so this will work great for the base. And I'm going to glue this on top of here. One thing I noticed when getting this glue is to make sure you get the kind that has a tip on it. It's easier to glue because some of them come with just the fat base, but um, having that tip really helps to glue things together. Okay, and I'll just set that aside and I'll glue, I'm going to glue it in pieces. I don't want to stack it all at once because they might tip or slide off each other. So I glue two or three pieces together and let it dry overnight. So I decided to put um, painter's tape around here to hold it in place because sometimes the glass will slide around a little bit. So um, I put tape on that just until it dries. So the next thing I'm going to glue together is this candlestick. I'm using these because there's uh, this looks like a round marble here, so I kind of have a little theme going. But I'm going to use this candlestick and I'm going to glue this cup it's on top of this here, like that. And I'll probably tape that one too, make sure it stays in place. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is glue this glass upside down on this candlestick. And then glue this on top of here. And since there's a hole in here, I'm going to put some gems in there just to give it another little pop of color. Put some red gems in there.
I'm going to glue this plate on top of here. Like that. So now I'm going to glue this piece, this glass, on top of this glass, like that. And then I'll tape it so that it will stay in place. Now I'm going to glue this little plate on top of the cup like that. I have this all pre-planned so I know what pieces go together. I'm not just throwing it all together. make sure it's level. This is going to be near the top. So I'm going to glue this onto here and that's going to hold the big marble on the top. Okay, so this is what I have glued together so far. I put tape on a lot of it to make sure it stays level. And um, that's another thing I wanted to mention is that I use a level a lot and I need to get a smaller one. This big one works okay, but a smaller one would be better to make sure that every surface is level and it'll stand up straight in the end. Okay, it's been a day, um, had enough time to dry, so I'm going to glue some more pieces together. Um, first I'm going to glue this one on top of here, like that. Set that one aside. Let it dry. And the next one I'm gonna glue.
I'll probably end up putting some painter's tape on here too to keep it in place. The next one I'm going to glue is this one. I'm going to glue this little glass on top of here, like that. So that's all I'm going to glue together today because I want to make sure that it's really strong before I start stacking them up. So that's what I have done for today and then I'll give it another 24 hours and I'll put some more together. Alright, it's been another 24 hours so everything's pretty dry. Um, so I'm going to put some more together. I'm going to use gems. I'm going to put gems in this one. I tried different colors. Um, I tried green and red and I didn't like the way it looked so I'm going to use clear. Clear gems. I think that looks the best. So I'll put that in there. And this one is going to go on top of here like that. Just enough on the edge there to glue it. I'll have to tape that. Alright. dries, I'll probably put another extra bead of glue all the way around it, just to make sure it's waterproof. Okay, so it's later in the day, so right now I'm going to put um, some clear gems into this cup here, give it a little more texture. Top of here like that. 
But I think I need to let that dry first because it's a little bit slippery. So I'll let that dry overnight and then I'll put that top on. So this is going to be the very top and then I'm going to put that giant marble on top. So I'll just let that tack up a little bit and then I'll tape it on here so it won't fall off. And uh, then tomorrow I'll be able to put the marble on here and put this on here. Put it all together. But that'll be it for tonight. Okay, so I'm going to glue this piece on top of here. And there's a little bit of a space between this bottle and this little dish here, so I found some Silly Putty. It's actual Silly Putty. And uh, I'm going to put some right on top of this plate. I'll put it on like that and then I'll squish it down after I put the glue on it. Silly buddy will help hold it in place until it dries. Just like that. I'll let that dry overnight and then I'm gonna be putting this on top of here. And it's going to probably be about five and a half, six feet tall. And then I'll put this big marble on the very top. So I've got to glue these last two pieces together and then I'll be finished.